sweating, tremors, unexplained weight loss. Ah, may goiter ka, mahilig sa maalat. Does that hold true? Bigla ang pagbagsak o pagbigat ng timbang, hinihingal kahit wala kang ginagawa. Ah, may problema ka na sa thyroid. Sa ang parte ba dito o sa lalamunan ba makikita yung thyroid? Asan po ba siya dyan? Yes, uh, yung thyroid gland ay matatagpuan sa leeg. Oh. Usually sa baba ng Adam's apple. Okay, so banda dito, Dok. So, dito. Tapos, ano naman yung kinalaman niya? Kasi madalas po nating nababasa, yung may thyroid problem, may konektado sa metabolism. Paano po ba yung... yung Yes, the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones. Gumagawa siya ng hormones, katulad ng T3 and T4. At yung T3 and T4, they are the one uh, taking care of the control of the metabolism. Okay, so pag sinabi nating metabolism, Dok, yun yung um, may kinalaman sa energy, yes. sa pagtaas o pagbaba ng timbang, may mga connect. Kung, Tama po, di ba? Yes, kung sobra naman ang metabolism, then you're Bumapayak. losing weight. Yes, mga payat. Oh. Then opposite naman kung kulang ang metabolism, then tumataba. Okay, sige. Matutumbok natin yan mamaya. So, ano naman po yung nagiging sanhi ng pag nagkakaroon ng mga thyroid problems ang isang? Yeah, that's a very broad question. Maraming thyroid problems, so we can group it into three. Okay. The first group would be structural examples. Would be, uh, marami to, pero I'll just name a few. Kunyari, goiter, malaki ang thyroid gland. Kung yung thyroid gland may bukol, whether solitary, we call it nodular goiter, or kung marami, we call it multinodular goiter. And the second group of problems would be yung function. Kung this is where yung T3 and T4 would come in. Kung medyo maraming T3 and T4, we'll call it hyperthyroidism. And kung kulang naman, we will call it hypothyroidism. And then, for the last problem, last group would be the cancer. So maraming cancer na sa thyroid, it can be papillary cancer, uh, follicular, medullary, and others. Tama po. Kaysa mo, medyo broad po pala yung sakop ng pag nagkaroon ng problema ang thyroid. Yes. Siguro, uh, for the sake of discussion, siguro, let's zero in na lang po siguro dun sa hyperthyroid, hypothyroid, and, and later siguro we'll touch on the goiter aspect, sir. Yes. So, sa pag-distinguish natin dun sa hyper at hypothyroid, ano po yung nangyayari dun sa isang tao mayroong hyperthyroidism? Yes, so, Parang yun yung thyroid kasi eh, produces the T3 and T4. Yung T3 and T4, kung sa, if we will have an analogy, kung makina yun, parang battery. So yung T3 T4 gives us energy. Parang battery sa katawan natin yan. So kung kulang yan, kulang battery, parang low bat tayo. So we are hypothyroid. And ang mga symptoms would be, as we know that T3 T4 also affects uh, all over our vital organs so sa heart, sa lungs, intestines, and others sa brain. So, kung kulang ang hormones natin, so everything is slow. So, heartbeat natin slow, digestive system natin slow, uh, utak natin, we can uh, concentrate well, laging antok. Kung yung mga muscles, it's a bit slow, meaning kahit nag-exercise kayo at nag-diet, you gain weight. Oh, Tumataba. Okay. And sa so opposite naman, yung hyperthyroidism, too much ang T3 and T4. So, sobrang on the go tayo. Parang laging tayo nag-exercise. Even you are sleeping, parang it's already, the metabolism is too fast. So, when it's in the heart, fast heartbeat, palpitations. Oh. Kung sa digestive system, uh, you, uh, you go to the bathroom frequently, frequent bowel movement, and then... In the muscles, as, as, as I've said, lagi para the exercise, so pumapayat kayo kahit uh, you're eating too much, you're still losing weight. Okay. Doc, ikokonek ko lang yung mga nabanggit nyo. Ha? So, nabanggit nyo kasi, yung puso, for example, um, bumibilis ang heartbeat kapag hyper. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung madalas na mararamdaman natin. Wala tayong ginagawa, pero may palpitations. Tama yes. po ba? May Even at rest, sometimes mabilis ang heartbeat. It will go as high as more than 100. Okay. And, nabanggit nyo rin yung sa metabolism. So, ibig sabihin, kung hyper, dan dito yung biglang pagbagsak ng timbang, gaano, gaano po ba kabigla yung mga pangyayaring ganyan? Usually, in, in cases that you've experienced, though, if you've seen. Uh, hindi man kaagad, like after 
one day you will lose five pounds, ten pounds. It usually take it, it would take time, mm. few weeks, few months. It depends then how bad is the hyperthyroidism. Yeah. But is it like mas mabilis than let's say kung yare nag exercise katalaga na yes. mas mabilis sa kompara yes. don sa even though hindi sila nag exercise they are losing weight. Wow. It can be maybe ten pounds in three months. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So in in the same manner sa high po naman din would that Uh, Hypo like, is almost similar. Pag gain naman gain po. weight, kahit nag-exercise sila, they try to lose weight, nag-diet, opposite naman, they are gaining weight. Okay. So, do, paano naman pumapasok yung... Um, kasi may sinasabi sila, may, may lumalabas naman na parang merong isa sa kanila na mas delikado. So, meron po bang ganun? O pareho lang? O should we treat one of the cases as a more delicate one? Both are, uh, both are dangerous, of course. So we have to address it, whether hyperthyroid or hypothyroidism. But if you would tell, ask me, kung we, I would choose ano mas delicado, siempre yun hyperthyroidism. You can see the symptoms right away. You can see yung mga palpitations, the losing weight. While the hypothyroid is also not good, but between the two, maybe hypothyroidism is easier to treat. Okay. Doc, nabanggit niyo yung uh, you, you've, you've always talked about the relationship ng hormone. So, uh, when when it, when we talk about hormones, does that affect din yung mga yung mood ng mga tao na parang nagiging mainitin ng ulo, nagiging madaling magalit. So, may ganun ba yung mga hyperthyroid uh, yung mga patients with hypothyroid hyper hyper mood changes would affect both uh, hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. Uh, especially we call it irrit- irritable sila eh, that, uh, those. We have hyperthyroid, we have hypothyroid. Saan naman po mapasok, Doc, si goiter? Na-mention nyo kanina, this is naman is the structural. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, goiter kasi is simply, yung definition niya is enlargement of the thyroid gland. Mm-hmm. Lahat tayo may thyroid gland, kung lumaki yan, we call it goiter. Mm-hmm. So, Hyperthyroid and hypothyroid may not have a goiter. Their thyroid gland might be normal in size, but the function might be bad. But most often, din, it's also affected the size. So, pwede din may goiter at the same time, may hyper or hypothyroidism. Okay. Doc, may lumalabas kasi na parang mas prone daw ang mga babae sa thyroid problems. Do you have, have you had that observation? Or yes. Or within, like, within the... Even in the textbook. They would say the prevalence rate, or by based on statistics, must affected ang female rather than male. But the uh, uh, scientific reason they don't know. But most probably it should be uh, because of the female they have more hormones than the mm. male. Okay, so yung siguro the closest that we can know yung ay the hormones and, and hormones din yung yung sa yes. hypo and hyper, hyper dog, eh, diba? so, tama. So do. Ano naman yung kinalaman nung iodine? Kasi parang lumalabas, di ba? Parang, let's go first with, with goiter, di ba? Na parang, ang, ang common ano ng mga tao ay, ah, ay may goiter, ah, mahilig sa maalat. Does that hold true? O may, may, may scientific, ano po ba siya, connection? Yung iodine kasi sa trace element, it, it plays a role in the formation of the T3 and T4 hormones. So, during, in the, in the urban areas, maybe this might not play a role. But in the maybe in the province or or in the mountainous areas where they have iodine deficiency, so mm-hmm. with the lack of iodine, of course they might have goiter. Yes, but in the urban areas where we have uh, too much in our restaurants, the salt preparations already iodized, so we can uh, get away with this iodine iodine deficiency. Okay. Uh, goiter. In terms of sa iodine, may may connect pero does it really cause or or yun yun ba talaga yung direct na ano natin o hindi naman? If you ask about food intake, there is no food that will make it worse or make it mm. uh, well. Okay. So it's usually the cause of this goiter is usually mutation or genetics. Okay. So when you talk about food, naman. There are some food that would have goitrogens like cabbage, root crops, and others. Uh, by theory, they can uh, increase the size of your thyroid gland, but you have to take too much 
uh, grams or kilograms of uh, the, those coitrogens like this cabbage per day and maybe you should not cook it mm. take a truckload of it every day then that can cause goiter but right now we just eat few grams so okay. it'll be okay so okay. no food will affect the directly ano talaga. okay so no na mention niyo yung we're, 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 since we're talking about yung 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 causes at, at saan nang galing so for hypo and hyperthyroid patients pag nagtanong sila sa inyo lagi na para oh ano man saan ba ginawa ko but ba ako nagkaroon ng ganto yeah. and what what is really the the answer to that though? yes the answer is it's not your fault whose fault is it would be your parents or ancestors Mm. Hindi man really fault nila, but it's because of uh, genetics. genetics yes, hereditary. Ano yung kailangan gawin once ma-diagnose ang isang tao na may hyperthyroidism at o oh, may hypothyroidism? Ano yung unang uh, dapat nilang gawin? Of course, people should be aware of this hyperthyroidism, hypothyroidism, its signs and symptoms, so they will know already. And what to do? If they have those symptoms, they have to see their doctor for a checkup. For those who were diagnosed already with hyper and hypothyroidism, it is very important to have a regular checkup. Even though they already have their right dose, quote unquote right dose, it's still nice to see the doctor frequently for maybe some dose adjustment or or maybe there there would be newer treatments available for their condition. Okay. Is surgery an option lagi with 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 thyroid problem? The role for surgery would be if the patient has goiter and the, and the goiter is uh, the big thyroid gland is causing obstructive symptoms. The patient is having a hard time swallowing, hard hard time breathing, then we have to remove it. And the role of surgery also would be if for hyperthyroidism, if patient is already uh, controlled and doesn't want to take medications furthermore, so uh, opt for surgery okay. and then other indications for surgery can be of course it's too big for aesthetic purposes cosmetic purposes <laughs> so they, they remove it and then also if it's cancerous we have to remove it okay doc isa rin sa mga concern ng mga tao is that okay uh, meron silang nakaramdaman may goiter hindi nila alam ano yung specific doctor na dapat na or na specialist na dapat so Saan po pasok yung isang endocrinologist sa ganitong uri ng sakit? Of course, they can see their primary physician first and then they can be referred to a specialist if the primary physician cannot control the hyper or hypothyroidism or even if the size of the thyroid gland is getting bigger. And also, if, they, if the patients are aware, they should know what is an endocrinologist. So an endocrinologist are doctors seeing hormonal problems like thyroid problems, pituitary problems, growth hormones, uh, even sex hormones, or even diabetes. Okay. So, Doc, ang isang concern ng mga taong may hyper and hypothyroid is, is it treatable? O, ano ba, parang, is it like cancer? Na parang, ano na, medyo delikado? Ano bang... Uh, ano yes, it's very treatable, but medyo long term lang Yo. long term ang gamutan lang okay. so part of the part of the treatment should be patience the patient should be patient kasi sometimes they feel it's like an ordinary cough lang ubo sipon take antibiotics one week they are well but this one would take even months or even years so is it correct to say na parang if you are if you experience thyroid problems specifically hypo on high hyperthyroid is it like a long, lifelong ano na po, journey, kumbaga, na pakikipag-manage ng, ng gantong... Usually, hyper and hypothyroidism would be caused by an autoimmune problem, self-destruction of your body. Uh, you have antibodies destroying that specific organ, which is the thyroid. So, that would really take long-term or even lifetime. Like, for example, hypothyroidism, sometimes they have to take the hormonal replacement for life. Okay. So, siguro, um, to end na lang din, Doc, siguro, uh, what can we advise yung mga, um, siguro, yung, yung, yung nakakaranas ng, ng, ng ganyang mga iba't-ibang problema in terms of how to manage it, 
how to properly address it with a physician paano, how how would you siguro yung advice na lang po sa kanila Okay, advice should be, of course, regular checkup. If the doctor would advise uh, every two months or three months, patients should uh, come on time because that's the time they adjust the hormone uh, medications. And then if blood tests would be required or even an ultrasound, then they have to do it because that would help the doctor do the adjustment. 